But look at how pretty this guy is. Now they do get much larger than this actually. This is probably maybe a yearling. What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. Uh, and if you're not new here, then you probably recognize the cow's not with me and I'm not in Florida. So I'm actually in Costa Rica right now uh, with some great friends. One, one of them's hiding right So I got Mark and Anthony McCarthy. And who is that? Who's in the sunglasses? So. Oh, we've got Shannon's wildlife here too. So <laughs> why are you saying like that? <laughs> <laughs> so we're walking down by the river. It's, it's a little bit of a dry season, so we're gonna go ahead and see what reptiles we can find. And we actually found a pretty. <laughs> <laughs> we actually found a pretty Got cool around, lizard. Uh, you know, lizard we're a little bit. Editing, right? Oh no, that's that's staying in. <laughs> I mean, don't get demonetized. <laughs> I said that much. Maybe we'll pop up the AdSense. Who full, knows? Full moon. Full moon. Uh, but we found a pretty cool lizard last night, um, and it's actually right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab it, and check it out. And I'm gonna show you guys what we found. All right, check this out, guys. This is actually a green basculus, and these guys are actually native down here to Costa Rica. You can also find them up in Florida. They become an introduced species, an invasive. Another nickname for these guys is the Jesus Christ lizard, because if you see their big feet, what they'll do is they'll hang out by a river like where we're at or a creek. And if they get spooked, they'll actually run across water. Hence the nickname Jesus Christ Lizard. It's, it's fascinating. Now this one is incredibly um, vibrant. And what they'll do is they'll even get brighter. Their males will have a giant crest behind their head and a big sail along their back, even down to their tail. This actually looks like it might be a little girl just because it doesn't have any development here in the back. Even at this size, you'll start to see a little hump behind the head. Now, how cool is that? He's, I mean, he's about a foot long, including the tail. These guys will get anywhere from probably three to three and a half foot for a big male. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna release him here where we found him, so we're gonna let him go. And he's actually just hanging out. He's, he's doing great. And you'll see these pretty commonly in the pet trade uh, up in the US. And they are, like I said, they are beautiful when they're the males. They have the big elongated sails. Make sure there's no fertile ants under my feet. Lightning quick, just like that, he's gone. Now let's go uh, look for some more reptiles here in Costa Rica. Well guys, check this out. This is a little eyelash viper. Now they come in all sorts of colors down here in Costa Rica. This is more of a brown face. They do also come in yellow, and we saw a bright orange and red one over at the uh, Eco Lodge. Hopefully we'll be able to find some other colors tonight. Since it's been a little drier, it's been a little bit more elusive as far as finding snakes. But look at how pretty this guy is. Now they do get much larger than this actually. This is probably maybe a yearling. They can get about two feet long. So, and a much, much thicker. Like that head size could actually get, from the big one we saw, maybe four times the size of this one. Now these are one of Costa Rica's best ambush predators. They sit right in the trees and um, plants and vermiculate, vermiculate? How do you say that again? Bromeliad. Bromeliads, those things. Uh, but they'll sit in these palm trees and everything and they'll sit right at the corner waiting for a little frog, lizard to come by and then whack. They'll uh, reach out and grab it. And you actually see why they call them eyelash vipers. So if you look right over their little eyeballs and this guy's gonna make another move for it, right over his little eyebrow, uh, eyeballs are like little eyelashes. How cool is that guys? Now this is actually a lifer for me, which means I've never caught one of these before. This is my first one. It's, it's pretty awesome, but look at how cool they are. Now these are a uh, pit viper. So basically what that means is they, they do also have heat pits for hunting prey. They'll pick up on heat signatures and that allows them to hunt in the dark. Now it's also a nocturnal species, which means that they spend most of their time uh, out and around when it's dark time under the cover of nightfall. Look at how cool that little guy is. And what's awesome about these eyelash vipers, if you look along the side of them, they almost have almost like a corn snake checkering of the, um, of the ventral scales. They are incredibly gorgeous. And now we found it right here along the river. So basically, because we are in the dry season, um, 
since we are in the dry season, basically all the, the wildlife is going towards the main bodies of water to, to drink, which is causing more of the predators to come out and hunt near there. Okay. Crawl this way. All right, guys, well, if you liked today's video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, follow us on Instagram, Primitive Predators. And we'll see you on the next one.